Lay. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Kane is in the building. Yeah. Let's go. All right, already the show goes on all night. Till uh. the morning we dream so long. Mm -hmm. Anybody ever wonder when they would see the thunder? Just remember when it comes to the show. What's up? of me explaining or how to do stuff that I would go ahead and do one today. So I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the saddle pad, put on a saddle, bridle, pretty much the whole thing. So let's get into the video because I know I talk a lot. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoy this. Okay, so first off, I want to start off by brushing him. So I have a curry comb and a bristled brush. And um, okay, so I know in my one of my videos, everybody was like, you shouldn't use a curry comb to brush your horse during the summer, it's okay guys, it's okay to use it. It's not gonna hurt him. So since it's still getting to where they're still changing um, out of their winter hair, I'm still going to go ahead and use this because he still has some um, winter hair left on his stomach and stuff. So I'm gonna start off by brushing his neck and I'm not gonna brush the scars because they're still kind of healing. Winter hair, and I brushed really hard with it, it would hurt, but I'm brushing lightly. I'm not brushing him. so I'm still getting that. Okay, after I use that, I use the bristles brush and I just brush them off. Okay, so now that we have brushed him, we're gonna get the saddle pad. Okay, so this is my saddle pad. It's got a cut out withers. And, um, I don't know, I just really, really like the saddle pad and I love the sleek look it gives with the saddle and the saddle pad. So, okay, so to, what you're gonna do is you're going to start putting the saddle pad on up above his withers a little, like you normally wouldn't do. So then you're gonna slide it back so it goes with his hair. And what I do up here is I just pick it up just a little bit and move his mane out of the way so it doesn't pull when I have the saddle on. So I'm just going to adjust that so I go to both sides and try adjust it. Once it's adjusted, then I start putting on the saddle. Okay, I have the saddle right here. I put this part in my left hand. And then my right hand grabs the back of the saddle. So I'm holding it like this and I gently swing it over his back, but not too hard because it will slap him on the sides if you um, if you throw it too hard, but you're just gonna gently slide it over on his back like that. And then you know you adjust it and stuff. Okay, so now I go on the right side of him because you wanna put everything on the left side because that's how you get on, so you're gonna put everything on on the left side. So, I'm going to take this little thing that I have the front cinch and back cinch on. So I'm going to take it out of here. I'm going to let it fall down. So now I'm just going to grab this front cinch. I'm going to bring it right here. Along with this right here. So now that I have this, I'm just going to bring this strap right through here. And pull. And then I'm going to loop it right up here. And I'm going to bring it back down through this one. And then I'm going to pull. And then I'm going to put it back up through here. And then back through here. And I'm going to align it, adjust it. Hope y'all can see this. And then I'm going to pull just a little bit. And then I'm going to put this little clip, this little latch right here through one of these holes, put it like that, and then to get this part right here to touch right here, I pull this just a little bit, and I touch that, and then I let this in right there, and no, I haven't tightened it yet because what I do, um, Here. And I get this one a little tighter. And then I 
sure he doesn't leave. And then I put one hand up here. And then I put one hand through here like this and open it up. I flip it through like this. And I grab the bit and I open his mouth. By grabbing where he doesn't have any teeth, I just kind of push. And then I slide these over his ears. Fix his mane. I need to cut him a bridle path, but I just haven't yet. <laughs> and then, you know, fix it. And then I let the halter go. Okay, so now when I'm ready to get on, I just take this out, pull this out from here, tighten it by pulling, put this through here, and then I pull this to make it go touch it like it is doing, and I pull this part and put it up through here, and pull it. And then, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that is just the basic uh, tack up. I wasn't going to do boots or anything because um, this video is probably already too long. And I, I already have a video on it. So it's called How to Put on Splint Boots. So go check that out. But yeah, I hope y'all guys enjoyed this video. I had fun making it. And I will see y'all guys in the next video. Bye. You want to come, come. Oh gosh, a spider. Ew. Go away. Did we kill it? Ah! Stupid spider! Die on the biscuit! I think he's dead. <laughs> Die! Oh lord, I hate spiders. Mm -mm. Okay.